Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft mod tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the most basic tinker smeltery you've ever seen. So, the first thing is, you need a 3x3x1 three by three by hole in the floor. Now for this, you need seed bricks. Now how you get seed bricks, is you need grout. So, how you get grout, 4 gravel, 4 sand, and 1 clay gives you 8 grout. So, you, and one gravel, one sand, and one clay ball gives you two grout. And you need this. It, you smelt one grout in a furnace, gives you one of these. So that would mean, seeing as it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, sorry. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. That means you need at least, let's say. You know, I can't be bothered to do the maths right now. Let's just say you need, uh, get four stacks of gravel, four stacks of sand, a stack of clay. That should be enough. Okay, so, the first thing I'm going to show you how to make is the smelter itself, then I'll show you how to make all the special other stuff. So, first thing, you need two smeltery drains. It's now called a seed drain, but a smeltery drain, made like this. Then, you need the faucet, so two seared faucets. Now this is the part we make three seared windows. Now you can actually use seared windows, seared gorge, um, seared tank, but I usually use the windows just because they look the nicest. Um, now you need a controller and I believe, oh wait, sorry, these need a basin and a whatever this is called, it's called a table. Now what you do with the rest of these is turn them into bricks. Um, so first thing. In your three by one, three by three by one hole, place down nine seed bricks like that. Make one layer all around it, just like this. Then, what you're gonna do is at the back put the seed windows. Along the sides, put more seed bricks. Put smeltery controller, the drains, the fault the collect. Like, put the faucets on the drains and put in front of it the basin and the table and I have two seared bricks too many um so I guess I'll just chuck those in there for now um that will put in there now it says here no valid fuel what you actually need is you need um lava in here so to save um time in this video just for the sake of this video I'm going to Grab a lava bucket and fill this up to the max. And now, game mode survival. Now, if you go into the crafting table, you see this blank pattern? You need five of them. So, place two sticks and two planks like that. And you get four. So, just repeat that until you have enough to make pattern. Now, you'd need four blocks of any metal um and if you place that what you actually need is a crafting table you can make a crafting station so that's the first thing now place the crafting station down anywhere around it i usually put it right there beside it now you need another one which this time this is a tool station which can then be upgraded oh that's what that's what that was for. Um, rip. I'm just going to quickly give myself two, three. Completely forgot that I needed that. Um, so just don't chuck them in there. And then you do this. Tool station. You make a tool forge. Now you see here it says block of iron. You can do it with any metal. And you put that down. And now if you click on any one of these you can see at the top. You can click between them 
So, with the blank pattern, I believe you need one chest, and then a chest, sticks, blank pattern, and like that. Nope, maybe the other way around. Yep, and that gives you a part chest. Now, if you do like that and like that, you get a part builder. So, I'm just going to place the part builder down there, and the part chest. And now, all you need is, for some reason, I don't remember how to do that. So, let me quickly just at Tinker's. Um, there we go. So we have everything here but the part chest and the stencil table which is made. Stencil table is made like that. So place this down. Now we have, ch check this off, this off, this. Oh, sorry, this, 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 and the tool station, which is pretty much tool forge. Tool forge is just an upgraded version of it. Now we need is part chest. And again, I have done something wrong. I don't know how, but for this, I need uh, two sticks and a chest. I don't know what went wrong. With that but let me just quickly give myself a chest and now place that down that 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 wait a second don't we already have the part I'm an idiot okay so we I didn't have to do that so don't need this we already have the part chest no we did need that chest damn it um there and then with this and then you get a pattern chest and now when you use in the stencil table with your casts with your stencils well your blank patterns and then you can put them there and use it how you normally use it if you don't know how to use it go search up another tutorial because to keep things short this is all i'm doing for this video if you have any questions uh feel free to ask in the comments or in my join my discord server and ask me there um i have a, a server f for those of you that don't know for you guys to play with me and to play with each other and i'm currently uh holding a poll to see which new mods should be added the link to the poll will be uh the first comment it will be pinned so yeah thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video and if it helped you please consider liking and subscribing and i'll see you in the next one